Hey guys, Tobin Folk Training Northwest coming at you from uh, Granite Falls, Washington. And what we're going to talk about today are gloves. Reason being, I've been noticing as we run classes, we have students come out here. A lot of guys have, uh, have their tactical uh, mechanics gloves hanging off their belt. And I want to talk about why we wear gloves and what your gloves do for you. Um, so we've got a couple pairs out here. I've got uh, just this plain old black pair of mechanics. I have a pair of lightly insulated weatherproof uh, Home Depot work gloves. I have a pair of cutlass construction type gloves. And I have a pair of Nomex flight gloves. Again, these mechanics gloves, I don't know if the tactical versions do something other than come in cool kind of multi-cam colors, but these are made of just some kind of cheap fabric here. It doesn't offer any kind of abrasion resistance. They're not fireproof. In fact, I'm sure that if you stuck your hand into the fire back here, these things would actually melt to your skin. Um, I, I don't know that you should be carrying something like this in a tactical, like, I don't know what advantage you gain out of this. Um, these guys here, these will be in my backpack in winter out or winter weather months, you know, from uh, October through about May out here. I'm gonna have some sort of weatherproof insulated glove in my pack just for comfort. Um, again, it's, it's, sometimes it's, it's just about, uh, you know, getting through the night. Nomex. The big thing about, or I should say the important thing about Nomex is that it's fire rated. These are the very same, or yeah, fire rated, FR. Um, these are the very gloves I had in my pocket as a GRS contractor for a lot of years. Reason being, IEDs were a big threat, and a lot of times post-IED, the vehicle is on fire. So my thought was that if I needed to reach into a burning vehicle, hopefully I would have time and presence of mind to put on my fireproof gloves. And that's a great example of a glove that actually gains you something. And lastly, these are the ones I actually favor when we're out here shooting or even just working. Because these are a level four cutlass, you can accidentally run a knife or a saw across the back of your hand and these will not cut through. They also have maybe the best dexterity for any pair of gloves I've ever, uh, I've ever worn. They come with a, uh, there's sort of like a no slip rubber uh, layer on the fingers when they're brand new that wears off pretty quickly. And once that's gone, the dexterity in these gloves is excellent. You can shoot your pistol with them, you can reload. You can do everything you need and you gain that advantage of, again, let's say, oh, let's just say even out on the street, normal everyday situation, you witness a car wreck, a nasty car wreck. You have broken glass, maybe some broken, jagged, twisted metal. Again, just, just protecting your hands from getting sliced up. That's a big benefit. And then lastly, maybe my favorite new addition is I've got this little pull out. It's a uh, tactical hand warmer because it's OD green. So I can take my cutlass gloves that have no insulation value, stick them in here, uh, and those will stay nice and warm. Even has a little uh, zip up pocket here. Got my, uh, whoop, if I can reach in here. Tough to get into. Got my hand warmers inside it. So it keeps them separate so they're not in there floating around. Tuck your hand warmers in there. Wear your glove, and yeah, actually now I'm noticing there is no uh, tactical coloring on these, but I bet a winter out here kind of rubbing some mud around on them. They'll be nice and brown by springtime. All right, guys. Lesson learned out here, or should say lesson of the day from this, is make sure your equipment actually does something for you other than just look cool hanging on your belt. All right, catch you later.